welcome back to my channel. So today I'm carrying on my Burberry theme and doing all the rest of the Burberry perfumes. I just posted yesterday a video of the My Burberry perfume range which I'll leave linked up above or down below as well um, if you haven't seen that and there was just too many Burberry perfumes so I decided to separate them out and do all the others except for my Burberry in this video. If you're new here then welcome to my little perfume world on the internet, do subscribe for more perfume range reviews, perfume note videos and do let me know your requests for any different videos like in the comments below. So let's just get straight into it because I think there are, I counted 13 different ones for us to get through so this is not going to be a quick video, grab a cup of tea, settle in and let's go through all the Burberry perfumes. So I'm going to start off with the latest one into the Burberry family which is Burberry Hair, um, lovely cute pink bottle with quite cool advertising with Cara Delevingne. I am um, have smelt this a few times and I don't know why but it, it reminds me of play-doh and I really don't know why because there isn't really like any kind of plasticky type notes in here um the main ones that really dominate are strawberry and raspberry and maybe it's just the fact that they have some like cashmere and musky tones in here and uh, mixed with those sweet fruits to me it, it kind of smells like play-doh-y it's so weird maybe it's just taking me back to like a childhood smell but it is literally all the fruits of the forest so like strawberry raspberry cherry blackberry and musk um so really nice combination this is probably my favorite out of the whole range um or definitely one of my favorites definitely the most modern of all the smells the packaging is probably the coolest and you can tell that it is the most recent one so before that, a few years ago, we had um, Burberry Body in the really long, um, unusual bottles and packaging, which um, shops found really annoying because they don't fit on shelves, you have to lay them on their side, like Kenzo Flower. I really like this one, this is probably my second favourite. Um, simply because I find it a really comforting feminine fragrance. It's like cashmere and wool and think of like a cosy jumper and then there's a rose in there but it's not an old fashioned rose and it's quite a sparkling fragrance. I don't really know how else to describe it but if it was a drink it would definitely be fizzy. There's peach and musk and mixed in with that cashmere rose. It, it, it's quite unusual, quite special and lovely and a friend of mine used to always wear this and I would always be able to smell it on her and I just thought it smelled classy and feminine and just really lovely and now whenever I smell it I think of her. So those are the two sort of most recent ones from Burberry and um, I'm sure there's will be an eau de toilette in the for her one coming out soon and there is an eau de toilette version in Burberry body but I think let's go back to the sort of older ones now and work our way forward so Burberry woman is I think the oldest one that's still sold from Burberry it came out in 1995 and it is a heavy vanilla perfume with a ton of peach and apricot so it's very much a fragrance of the 90s and um, perhaps a little bit dated now but I'm sure it still does have its its fans that have worn it ever since 95. There's woody mossy musky undertones but predominantly it's vanilla and the apricot and the peach make it a really sweet warm vanilla um, but in a almost aromatic style but not quite. Then in 1997 we got Burberry Weekend which is a floral perfume though again it does have those sweet notes in. So this is a floral perfume but it has some lovely orangey and nectarine notes in here so it's much fresher than um, Burberry Woman and um, much more lighter like floral, think floral, think orange mixed together. That's Burberry Weekend, inoffensive, nice, sort of happy perfume. We then have Burberry Touch which is quite an unusual one. Red pepper is a real strong fragrance note here. It's woody and it's also got cassis here that comes out strong. There's vanilla but there's also like cranberry and blackberries. You've got loads of different things going on and it almost comes across a wee bit peppery I think because of that red pepper. Um, very unusual and I don't think this is one of the bigger sellers. What is a big seller though 
or at least was at the time, is um, Burberry Baby Touch. Now I find this slightly odd, like why would I want a perfume that's to do with babies? Like at first I thought, is this for babies to wear? I don't think it is. It is a unisex fragrance, um, but it's basically really light, kind of aquatic. Orange is back again, rhubarb is back. There's a milkiness to it, which kind of reminds you of like baby, baby powdery stuff. Um, lemon with the orange and vanilla. It's fresh, it's light, it's it's Burberry Baby Touch. There is no other thing like it. I have no other perfume um, named about something to do with babies after, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it still continues to sell, still available. And yeah, a bit random, but it, it has its fan base. Next is Burberry Brit. I remember I had this perfume. Um, I got My dad got it for me from the airport when it came out in 2003. It's a vanilla perfume. I guess quite traditional English fragrant. You've got almond and then when you first spray it, you get a little bit of the lime and a little bit of the pear but it settles into a pretty simple feminine vanilla. It comes in eau de parfum and an eau de toilette and they're both vanilla-y, almond-y, simple feminine perfumes. We then have Burberry Brit Rhythm which were, came out to do with a fashion line that they were having at the time. This is not really like Burberry Brit at all, it's like a lilac-y lavender perfume mixed with musk and woody undertones but that lavender really comes through um so definitely one for lavender fans out there and it's still sold um again lavender does date it a little bit but i know there are people out there who love this and you know it that's lavender smell always takes me to like south of france provence um so quite nice for the summer if you want something a bit lavendery there's then burberry brit rhythm for her floral which is a much lighter sort of aquatic um airy perfume and instead of lavender we get a lot of lilac coming through so think sort of summery god british garden um very sort of feminine and light there's then also Burberry Brit Sheer, which is probably the most like tropical fruity of the Burberry perfumes with pineapple, lychee, orange, yuzu, very tropical with a lovely peony and muskiness to it. Um, this is probably one of my favourites from the whole range just because of that tropical vibes and I always think peony just makes a perfume so lovely and fresh and feminine. Um, it, you know, it's kind of the lightest floral you can get really. But yeah, and I always think pineapple in a perfume it's just super fun. So moving on to Burberry London which came out in 2006. This is a floral perfume, proper white floral perfume. It's basically jasmine and honeysuckle. When you first spray it you get a little bit of that orange citrus like Burberry signature. A lot of them have that orange in that you get at first but then it settles into a kind of rosy floral jasminey honeysuckle floralness. Very feminine, very womanly, very classic. I can imagine someone wearing this who has a very classic job like a doctor or working in the British Museum or something and the advertising is all very very British and yeah it's just a very classy British ladies perfume. Next we got Burberry The Beat which is a fresh tea perfume, light, orange is here again, inoffensive, I don't know what it has to do with a beat, but to me this is a typical, fresh, simple Burberry perfume. So that should be all the Burberry perfumes that are still available to buy now, that are still sold. There have been loads of other flankers that have come and gone, but those are all the ones that are still like on the Burberry website and still um, being sold basically. As always, I'll leave the links to all these perfumes down below if you want to check them out. Um, you can usually get them at quite good prices because they've been around for quite a long time. Um, but let me know if you wore any of these in the past and if you still wear them, what you think of them. But it is like quite an extensive classic range and the more modern ones have been quite different to the old ones but you know people are still wearing the old ones because they're kind of class classic and British. Um, a bit like me, I guess. No. <laughs> so that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.